let's talk about one of the common challenges when um, moving GIS files around, particularly if you need to share something with somebody through email, or if your professor asks for you to turn in uh, a GIS file as a, a submission to an assignment, or if you're uploading something to ArcGIS online. Uh, often, uh, GIS files, if you're aware, are multiple files and not just a single file. So if I look at my art catalog here, I've got effigymounds.shp. That's a bunch of different files, not just an SHP file. I need to share all of those. Um, or if I look at, let's say, a geodatabase, there's a bunch of stuff in there. Um, and it looks, of course, different in our catalog than it does uh, in the file system. And unfortunately, ARC doesn't give uh, an easy way for you to export this into a, a shareable format. There used to be something called export files, easy or zero files. Those don't exist anymore. So let's talk about the most common way to do this, which is create a zip file and to share the zip file. We're not going to do this inside of our catalog. We're going to pull up the file explorer. And if you haven't yet, uh, I suggest you download an application called 7-Zip and use 7-Zip to do this. So that's what I'm going to show you here. It's a free uh, application. Uh, it integrates with Windows File Explorer. It makes this fairly easy. So first, let's talk about a shape file. So I'm going to go down to this effigy mounds. And here's what it looks like in the File Explorer. I've got that SHP file. And then I have all these different components of the shape file, a projection, an index, and so forth. So I want to include all of those in my uh, zip file that I'm going to share with somebody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the first one, hold my shift key on my keyboard, click on the bottom and select all of those. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to access a 7-zip menu. And I'm going to create a new zip file here. So I'm going to add to, and this picks this up, we're going to rename it in a moment, it picks this name up from the, the folder that it's in, in this case Geog370. So add to geog370.zip. Let that run. And then, let's see. There's my file right there. And I'm going to rename that effigymounds.zip. OK, so now I have a zip file here that I can share with somebody, add to an email, or upload to RTS Online. Now let's also talk about geodatabase. Now those look a little bit different in File Explorer, and it's a little bit hard to see exactly where you want to zip. So I've got one inside this Lab6 Eric folder. So I'm going to open that up. Then I see uh, these two geodatabases with the .gdb extension. Now they're both folders. Uh, I can open this and see the inside of a geodatabase. <clears throat> Pretty scary. We don't want to be messing with anything in here. This was not meant for us to do any manipulation with or copy and paste or anything else. So let's get out of there before we break something. All right, so I got this folder, .ddb. I want to share that. So I'm going to right click on that folder and again use my 7-zip menu and add to lab6 underscore yell dot gdb dot zip. So yes. Okay. This process cannot be, cannot access file because it's used by another process. Okay, that's a good uh, uh, second lesson here. So I still have that open art catalog. Notice I've got that open. So I either need to click on some other folder or better yet, close out art catalog. All right, and as we crashed. Okay, so I'm going to delete that zip file and remake it just to make sure this gets done correctly. And then it included everything. It may not have included everything with it open in our catalog. Okay, now I've got that. And now I have the zip file that I can share uh, via the same methods I just talked about. All right, good luck.